hopefully this will be my first and last ain't no hopefully this gonna be my first and last car accident and the fact that it wasn't even with a car it was with a deer like i'm getting everything with a deer like where is your insurance like you should be paying for this like and you really you really should be paying for this like you know people be like you gotta pay you gonna have to pay not money but you gonna have to pay for like you know what i'm saying your wrongdoings Oh, he gonna have to pay. He gonna have to pay. Baby, I wish I had some deer hunters with me. Because you know what? I won't smoke. I won't smoke with him. ATL Jacob, ATL Jacob. What's good, y'all? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Because you're not finna watch another second of this video unsubscribe. So go ahead and subscribe for me. I know somebody is like, this is bothering them like hell. My arm is like this and this one because it's bothering me. So, hey. So, before we get into the video, um, I just want y'all to know that your girl finally did buy a new ring light because I was tired of having a broken ring light. Y'all know my ring light has been broken for a minute. You can just tell in my videos and I don't even like that. Even in my TikTok videos, you can just tell like the lighting is not there. Yes, I bought a new ring light. However, I haven't had the chance to go pick it up at my mother's house yet. So... We're using my natural lighting and like y'all are like on my cover and my pillow but it's okay because this is gonna be the last video without a ring light okay but anywho let's jump straight into this video all right y'all so yes you can see by the title my car was hit by a deer no i'm not saying i hit the deer i ran into it no he or she the dumb ran into my car like oh my gosh okay so boom it was saturday leading into sunday morning my friend y'all know jerica she's been on my channel plenty of times her birthday is actually tomorrow so happy early birthday to my girl so i knew that i wouldn't be able to like hang out with her on her actual birthday which is tomorrow the 29th so I was like, you know what? We should like link today since your birthday is literally a week from today because it was Saturday the 21st, I want to say. I think so. So I was like, you know what? We should just link. I'm going to come pick you up. We're going we're gonna to be outside tonight. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do what we do. So we ended up going to, y'all know, y'all from OKC went to Wing Supreme. Went to go see Scream, the movie. I love Scream, so I'm gonna go see Scream. Uh, we were just trying to think of like stuff to do, so I just said we're gonna go get Wayne Scream, go to the movies. We ended up going to the casino. Chad, we went to the strip club. <laughs> we just went all over the city pretty much, like, you know what I'm saying, for my girl birthday. Me being me, I was like, I wanna be outside because I'm always inside, and I was like, it's just, we doing this for your birthday, we hanging out for your birthday, plus I haven't seen her in a minute. So I was just like, we're doing this for your birthday. And yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? We need to turn up, have fun. We just went like all types of places, really. So I was like, listen, I want to be outside to the point where my apartment is like, do she still stay here? Is she abandoning me? Like, you know what I'm saying? She finna move out because I don't want to come home to like real late. Cause like I said, I'm always in the house and I'm always like put up. And you know why I'm always in the house? I'm literally always in the house to prevent certain stuff. Like you never know what God is protecting you from. Like if you go out, like for example, how this situation happened, like what if I stayed in the house, then that would have never happened. I don't have any regrets like going out for her birthday and none of that, but obviously who wants this to happen to them in a car, like no. But I literally always stay put up in the house because I'm always thinking like, okay, what if I go out and not saying that it's going to happen, but like, you never know, like getting there, an accident, you somewhere, you at the wrong place at the wrong time and a shooting happened. Like I'm always just always in the house, put up in the house. I'm a homebody anyway. I don't even like going out. So that's why I even really did this to begin with anyway. So like I said, we was just outside. So I ended up dropping her off around like four in the morning. Yeah, it was like 4, 4.30 in the morning, something like that. Yeah. So, you know, I'm back on my side of town. I'm driving. And I'm driving on this road, which oh, I'm so mad. For one, regardless, okay, for one, this, like, road that I was driving on 
it makes me get to my house faster. However, like when it's like nice home, like I really shouldn't like do that. But like, and I normally don't even do that. I don't normally go on that road. If I do take you, like it's like it's it's quicker for me to get to my crib. But the thing is that road is so freaking dark. Like the street lights, they even they so dim and stuff. So and it's like a long straight road like it's just dark with big old trees and you know what y'all especially after seeing that movie chill i was literally like what if something just jump out right now like that's the type of mind like i just think about like where and stuff like that i was like girl what if someone was to jump out right now and you know me i'm i'm cruising the whole way that i dropped her off because she stayed like on the far side of town from me so the whole time that i'm coming back from dropping her off to my side of town. I'm jamming, you know, I'm listening to my music. I'm being the hood. Like, I'm, I'm doing my thing, you know, I'm being real hood. Jamming, you know, my little rap hood playlist. I'm jamming. So I'm going on this dark road. Mind you, I'm not too far from my house. Like, I'm literally like, including like probably street lights and stuff. Stop sign, not stop sign, but like street lights and stuff. I probably like 10 minutes away from my house. If that, if that. Yeah, so I'm not too far. I'm on my side of town, I'm not too far from my house. But like I said, I'm driving on that dark road and I'm just like, what if something was to just jump out? Like, that would that be crazy? Not knowing that something was really finna jump out and hit my damn car. So the crazy thing is I seen like a figure I seen a figure like, and the thing is, it's like a gate on the right side that i was driving on it's like a fence gate and it's like a long fence white gate and over there it's like a pasture kind of like a farm like something like that like when it's like summertime and stuff like that it'd be cows and stuff over there um and then like on my left side that i was driving down the road it's like hella trees it's just dark just bushes and everything so the way that i'm going heading towards that light I seen something when I looked over there, but like it looked it far away, so I'm not thinking nothing of it. You know what I'm saying? So you know I'm I'm almost to the light. You know what I'm saying? Got a little bit more ways to go, y'all. A f deer, a freaking deer, literally runs into my car. I kid you not. And like I said, when I said I seen something running, I'm really thinking that that mug was like running towards my car because I did end up seeing something like a little figure, but I did not know it was like an animal or a deer. I'm just thinking I'm either seeing something or I did see something, but it's just like nothing to worry about. <laughs> just is something to worry about. And when I seen it, it literally like, I'm driving and it literally like ran into my car as I'm driving. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, I immediately started crying crying and praying you know like i said i had on my hood music instantly soon as that happened cut on my gospel music i just started praying i was like please i like, i was just like so scared and shook it up now i'm fine but like literally after that happened because this literally just happened like today is friday so this happened sunday like five o'clock in the morning i'm i'm okay now but like uh, definitely after that happened like a couple days after that happened i was still shaking up like anytime i looked to my right side no matter if i'm laying down if i'm driving i just get flashbacks from that night and i just be scared and shook it up because that was just so scary like that deer really just ran into my car so my thing is like you seen some headlights you seen a car coming and you just run and hit that car like why 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 are you dumb are you dumb are you dumb and you know the crazy thing is all my life all my life i had to fight all my life i had to fight no because for real all my life i felt bad for deer specifically because when i would go to like little places like this place downtown and like if you go in there you can see it's a whole bunch of like deer heads like literally it's just their neck and their antlers and all of that just hung up around there in the shop and like all my life i always felt bad for deers like they they get their heads cut off they get sold people eat them kill them stuff like that 
And I don't know why I feel bad for deer specifically because like other animals get this too, but like I just always felt bad for deer. But now, now, oh, I don't care about a deer. Oh, I'm so mad. I hate deers. I hate deers. All my life with me feeling bad and a deer want to do this to me. And the thing is, like my mama always told me way before I got my license, and like I always just learned this like from her taking me to school, like going this exact same way when I was in high school. She'd just be like, when it's cold, we're not going down this road because the deer be over here. And I wasn't even thinking like don't for one, I shouldn't be going down that road anyway because it's nighttime, it's dark, like I shouldn't do that. But two is cold and deer be over there but i wasn't even thinking oh my gosh just talking about giving me flashbacks from that night but it's just like bro i wasn't even thinking and the crazy thing is too y'all since that was leading into sunday i'm gonna say the day before my mama literally sent me a picture from her memories like it said a year ago from today and the thing is that's the day that i got my car so that made it a year that I've had my car. And then the next day, my car gets hit by a deer. Like, and you know what? Of course, I wish this never happened to me, but I feel like I'm more blessed um, behind the situation. For one, my car is still drivable. So I'm grateful for that. Very blessed, very grateful that my car is still drivable. Um, it is some damage done to my car, obviously, but it's nothing like to the point where like, oh, my car has got to get totaled. I have to get a whole new car. I'm not going to have no rides to work. I can't get to here, here, and there. Like, no. So I'm blessed to for that. Not only that, I'm alive because anything could have happened. Um, it could have just went a different route. You know what I'm saying? Um, cars that's replaceable but a life is not so i'm glad that i'm still here today you know what i'm saying alive another thing that i'm very grateful for since this is the situation that i'm in i'm glad that it happened on my passenger side and not my driver's side because the way that he or she like ran into my car like it's a big old dent in like the passenger side so like if that deer was to like hit me on my driver's side his head, his antlers, anything could have went inside my window on my driver's side. He could have hit me, like, with his antlers, killed me. Like, it could have went a different route. So, like, I keep saying, I'm just, like, blessed and grateful that it happened the way that it did um, since it is a situation that happened. It's just more blessings throughout the situation for me more than anything. For now... Like, I'm gonna have that big, old, ugly, like, dent in my passenger side. That all that at the bottom, I'm gonna just have that for a little bit on my car because the next available appointment that people could, like, see me in to, like, get my car fixed is literally March 29th. So, if you see my car, don't say nothing, but you probably not even gonna be seeing my car because, honestly, like, Yes, it's still drivable, but I'm still nervous. Like, I don't want to go too far. I don't want to do too much. So, I'm just literally going to work at home. And, like, if I got to go somewhere, like, really important, like, let's say get gas or I need to go to my mom's house, something like that. But that's all, like, local stuff and not too far from my crib. So, but even then, like, I'm just being very careful. I'm driving so careful because, oh, my gosh, I'm just. I can't believe this happened. Like, that was so scary. Like, wow. A deer literally just ran towards my car. Like, you see some damn headlights, a car coming, you just run towards it. Like, my mama said maybe he was he or she, cause she did, she did make me think about that. Like, maybe it was a he or she was trying to like cross the road but i don't care nothing about that like why is you playing crossy roads right now like you being dangerous like you could have waited if that's the case you could have waited but like i said i seen something just coming towards where i was driving to and then i don't know where a deer just appeared and just ran into my car and i didn't swerve or nothing because i've always known that you're not supposed to swerve your car whether you get into a car accident 
or like you see something you're not supposed to swerve your car you're just supposed to just let it be so i'm glad that i didn't end up swerving because if i hit somebody or like whatever you know what i'm saying and another thing like when i made that left at that light i ended up seeing somebody pulled over and like they was with the police officer and it's not even that the police officer like pulled them over it's like i guess they was trying to help so now i'm trying to see did they get hit by that deer too or what because i did see like like the same kind of damage that was done to my car was done to their car so i forgot to tell that to my mama but i'm wondering because you know like when you're on the road and you trying to see if somebody else is on the road with you or whatever i seen them pulled over in the same like damage that was done to my car was kind of done to their car so i wonder did they get hit by that same deer or what y'all this is just crazy like i just i <laughs> I don't know, I just can't, but never will I ever. I don't care if it's daytime, what it is. I'm not going down that road no more. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna just get flashback from that night and just, you know what I'm saying? Start tripping or something. Like I said, I, it's more blessings than anything in this situation that I'm still here. That, um, yes, damage was done to my car, but it's still drivable. So I'm just grateful for that. And obviously cars are replaceable, like I keep saying but a life is not. So I just try to look at the more positive side of things. Anywho, that is all that I have for you guys today. I really do hope y'all enjoyed this video. I don't enjoy the concept behind it, but you know, at least I got content for y'all. So yes, but um, I love y'all so much and thank you so much for supporting me and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Bye.